Hi, my name is Nora Llewellyn, and I'm a resident and property owner in District 7 in Rhinelander, and I want to thank you today for the opportunity to present my proposal for traffic lights at the intersection of Coolidge and Timber. In this proposal, I'm going to tell you why we need traffic lights at that intersection, uh, what the steps uh, need to be taken to implement those lights, and of course, how much this proposal will cost. So why traffic lights? Why not just leave it uh, as a four-way stop? The Coolidge and Timber intersection is very dangerous, especially to pedestrians and bikers. It is a well-populated area. There are several single-family homes. There are several apartments with young children there. Uh, there are three schools right next to that intersection. That is Central Elementary, Rhinelander High School, and James William Middle School. Those elementary schools are elementary students are especially at risk. The CDC reports one out of every five children who are killed in traffic accidents are pedestrians and those pedestrians are one and a half times more likely to be killed than the occupants of that vehicle involved in the accident. The Coolidge and Timber intersection is also very frustrating for drivers in the neighborhood. At peak times that intersection can back up several blocks and those frustrated drivers are less likely to be attentive to those pedestrians, to those bikers at that intersection. An improved collision timber intersection could number one, encourage walking and biking, and number two, could improve the flow of um, traffic for the residents of that neighborhood. So what steps do we need to take? The first thing we would need to do is a safety audit. That safety audit would be done by volunteers, by parents and concerned community members. It would include a walkability study. And we would use a um, audit that was already um, used successfully in several, several other cities. Uh, then a traffic and environmental study would need to be done that would be performed by an independent agency. They would use that walkability or that safety audit that we did, and then they would design and engineer those traffic lights for that particular intersection. And of course, the construction would be next, and that would be done by uh, someone of the lowest bidder and a company that our city council was comfortable with. So the big question, how much is this gonna cost? So the safety audit will cost nothing. That will be done by volunteers. Traffic studies can be anywhere between $2,000 and $100,000. That depends on the company who performs the uh, traffic uh, audit and uh, it also what they need to do to perform that audit. Uh, the installation will cost anywhere between $200,000 and uh, $500,000. And that again will um, depend on the company uh, performing that construction and the equipment um, and the lights themselves being installed at that um, intersection. Uh, operating costs of a traffic light are anywhere between $4,000 a year and $25,000 a year. So that total initial cost will be anywhere between $200,000 and $600,000. That's really expensive. Again, why do we need this? Because preventing an injury or a death at this intersection is priceless, especially when it comes to children. Encourage walking and biking to school not only improves the health of the children of the neighborhood, but it also reduces the amount of traffic that flows through this intersection, again, improving the safety of this intersection. And another benefit would be that the improved flow of traffic for the residents of the neighborhood. Uh, thank you for listening to me and I will take your questions.